Hello, this is Denver Riddle with Color Grading Central. And finally, we've made it to our looks building stage of our order of operation workflow. Now just as a review, in a previous tutorial, I mentioned what a foundation of filmmaking is. And that is showing your audience what you want them to see and how you want them to see or perceive it. Creating looks satisfies the latter part of how we want our audience to see the things in the image. How we want them to feel about the action that's taking place. Looks can convey a mood or feeling, suggest a time of day or location, or even just be a cool style. In this video tutorial, we'll be covering how to create different moods. I also need to point out that the look that we're going for should support the mood that the screenwriter and director are going for with the storyline. The ways that we can affect mood are with color, saturation, and exposure. Let's explore color first and how it can influence a mood. I have this music video footage here that we'll be practicing with. I'll point out real quickly that these first shots have already been through the first stage of color correction. And so any looks that we add now will act as sort of a filter effect on top of our correction. As pointed out in the previous tutorial, this will make our shot to shot matching with the look applied much easier. Now, we can really go one of two ways in creating a mood with color. We can either go for a warm look or a cool look. To make a broad generalization, warm colors like red, orange, yellow, and some magentas create a warm soothing feeling or a flashback. And cool colors like green, cyan, blue, and purple can create a cold feeling or a depressing flashback. This of course all depends on the context of the story and in some cases warm or cool can be easily inversely interpreted with cool colors suggesting a soothing mood and warm colors to create tension. As you've noticed I've demonstrated the different colors with the global control and it's the easiest way to quickly create a warm or cool look. But if we want to keep our shadows clean, we can create the look with the midtones and highlights. I'll just use a, a combination of these until I'm satisfied. Okay, that looks good. Let's move on. Saturation can also be used to create certain moods. Bright, vivid colors can be used to suggest a light, upbeat feeling. We'll accomplish this by boosting the saturation with the global control. The opposite of which, or desaturated colors, can be used to indicate bleakness or despair. There's the other saturation controls of shadows, midtones, and highlights that we can also experiment with. Okay, that looks good. Now moving on to the exposure tab. We've already covered adjusting exposure to perform corrections. Now we'll adjust exposure to affect our mood. Increasing our highlights and midtones while keeping our shadows at zero IRE give us a bright high key look, which can indicate energy and excitement. Let me reset this. Now lowering the midtones, we can get a low key look, which might suggest mystery and the unknown. I'll adjust the highlights a little bit here to keep some of our dynamic range. Okay, so we have our low key look and we have our high key look. Finally, we can use all three adjustments of color, saturation, and exposure to maximum effect in creating a mood. Let's start with creating a depressing look first, so that way we can finish with a happy, upbeat look. I'll start by creating a cool color cast by pushing blue into the shot. Next, in the saturation tab, I'm going to lower the saturation not to get too close to black and white, but to give it a drained, lifeless look. And finally, I will adjust the exposure till we start to get a low key look. I'll toggle this off and then back on so you can see the difference. Pretty depressing, isn't it? Okay, now on to our upbeat shot. I'll boost all three parameters towards a happy look by adding some warmth in the color tab. Boost the saturation in the saturation tab and create a high key look in the exposure tab to increase the energy of the shot. Don't you just feel upbeat looking at this shot? Anyways, in conclusion, the way I hope this tutorial is helpful is for you to begin asking yourself, what kind of mood am I trying to create? What kind of look will support the emotion in the story? 
Once you've determined what this is, then grade accordingly using the techniques we've learned here. This is Denver Riddle of Color Grading Central, and thank you for watching.